Hello, YouTubers. Buster Gundo here. I wanted to ask you guys a question. Isn't it funny how whenever you're trying to save money for something large or actually needed in your life, and anything you want actually goes on sale or becomes limited in its quantity? And it's funny how it always happens when you least expect it. When you have the money to buy that wanted item, it's not on sale or it's way too high for your liking. But when you're low on money or have no money at all, or shift or have shifted your situation around to something better, it suddenly goes on sale. I find it funny how that works. For me right now, I'm trying to save up for a desktop computer. I'm working on a laptop as of now, and it is not the best. It's five going on six years old. It's an HP 2000, Windows 8, and it sucks. I'm also going to have to save up money for a VPN. So yeah, my money is going to be very tight for the next couple of months. And it doesn't make it any better that not finding a job is not cutting it either. And another thing, isn't it also funny how when you actually need a job, no jobs are open, but when you found a job that you actually can work, or something that actually pays you well enough, all these jobs mysteriously open. So I'm at this point in life where I do, I wouldn't mind working, to be honest with you, as long as the pay is well and I get treated well. I know maybe that's a little bit too much to ask, but I figured it can at least be put on the table. But yes, I am working on either becoming an entrepreneur, being able to set up my own small company, or hopefully being able to get a job. Even if it's just a part-time job, it'll suit me just fine, apparently. But apparently, the universe finds it funny to put every single obstacle it can in my way. All these jobs that say you need at least two to three years of experience, sometimes more up to upwards of five years of experience. And it's like, I see a lot of these companies with help wanted signs up. And I thought the purpose of a help wanted sign was to get people into the door that actually want to be there. But if I go into your company's building asking about the help wanted sign, mind you, and you tell me that you need at least five years of experience prior, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to be a little bit ticked off. Just a little bit. Because you didn't specify any of that beforehand. You didn't put it in small print on the sign. But funny how you manage to say, oh, you need at least five years of experience. So I said, screw it. I will look elsewhere at this point. So that is my small journey. The, the desktop that I would be trying to go for is 375 US dollars. That's including tax. Now my ultimate goal is to save up at least 500 US dollars. And it's going to be a long and tough road to 500. But I will try and update you guys with my progress. So hopefully, every so often I'll upload a video with the title Road to 500. Detailing my journey and my findings and learnings as well on my journey to $500. Yes, I know it seems stupid to those of you who are going to 
listen to this, like, oh, well, why don't you just find a job? Yeah, if finding a job weren't, <clears throat> if finding a job weren't like finding a needle in a haystack, I would actually go looking for one. So, do you guys have any ideas on how I can make my 500 goal a reality? Put your ideas in the comment section below. If I think it's a good idea, I may try it out. And if it works, I will be giving you a shout out in the next video I make. That's all for now. Have a good afternoon.